You might call his touching tunes classical music. Earl Stuckenbrook has it all right on the tips of his fingers. I saw and heard the goblets played by an evangelist in the church of my father in Beatrice, Nebraska in the late 20s. And uh, that intrigued me and that started me off. And these days he pours it on with a special sectioned arrangement of 33 goblets. A little acetic acid and water for the fingertips and the glass menagerie of music begins. It's really the quantity of lead in the goblet that produces uh, a natural tone. About half of them are slightly filled with water in order to adjust the pitch. No two of them sound alike even apart from the uh, pitch itself. And they, they play differently. The waves of these goblets are something that no other instrument uh, could have. And Earl's making even more waves since he tapped on to a better water supply. At first I was using tap water, but tap water uh, leaves sediment and uh, makes it harder to clean. And uh, then I came across uh, the idea of uh, using spring water. As for the song selection, well, it's sure not watered down. From hymns to classical to pop, almost any tune comes out crystal clear. Well, I've heard of jumping in and getting my feet wet, but now I'm jumping in and getting my hands wet. Now, Earl says it takes a while for the goblets to learn and respond to the touch of the player, but one thing's for sure, this music always makes a splash with him. There's something that's, uh, that's gentle, it is, um, it's not piercing, most of all, listening to the harmony. And the harmony here is homegrown. Earl says, as far as he knows, he's the only goblet player of this kind in Tennessee. But competition or not, when it comes to goblet playing, Earl will always thirst for more. As long as he can. <laughs> Yes, uh, I do. I do enjoy it. In Cable Country, Tim Cable, Eyewitness News 11, Johnson City.